create account in Canvas, I'm going to show you the first few things that you should do when you first log in as a new Canvas user. When you log in, this will be the first page you see. It's the dashboard. On your dashboard, once you have created courses, you will see boxes that represent your classes. This right here is my dashboard through my uh, district account. So you can see we have published course. I have none uh, published right now. And then my unpublished courses on my dashboard that I have favorited are down here. So I have a, a course that has 7th and 8th grade content in it. And then over here I have my workroom that has all of my um, graphics and assignments and other curriculum that I've developed from uh, this summer. This curriculum right here is stuff that the um, district has provided for me that I use and put into my other workroom. All right, so now that we're back, what I'm going to do is uh, create a workroom. There are two ways to create a workroom. You can either click up here and go to start a new course and then type in the name of your course and click create course. I'm not going to do it right now because I want to show you the other way. So I'm going to click exit. The other way is to go to your courses over here, click all courses. This will show you a list of courses eventually. Click plus course and then the same box pops up and I'm just going to type in workroom. The reason why I'm showing you multiple ways is because depending upon your district, they've purchased a, a specific tier of Canvas, so it can show different ways and there's different options and setups for it. Okay, but now we are in the workroom, so you can see here my titles right over here. Um, I'm currently on my home page, which appears to be set up as a um, module home page. We have all of our um, navigation tools on this side, which I will make other videos going over each one of them. I'm going to show you the dashboard view of the course real quick. So when I click on the dashboard, now you'll see here I have my little tile or square for my course with the title right here, and I can return back to the course. So on this side over here, we have the course status. You can see it's currently unpublished. If I were to click right here, it would become a published um, classroom. Then you can see here we have import existing content. So maybe content you have on your computer, you can import it to Canvas. You can import um, content from Commons. You can choose a home page. I'm going to focus on this because I think this is one of the first things that you should decide to do with your your course your workroom course so I'm going to click here so you can choose your course homepage many of you have probably seen that many teachers are going with the pages front uh, pages as a front page so they're creating a page with a lot of images and graphics and buttons and that's what they're doing is they're going to select this one and the reason why right now I can't select it is because I currently have no pages in the course. So what I could do is I could click down here. It would take me to the pages. I could create a page, then return to the home page and go back to this button of choose your home page and then select pages as front page. But you don't have to do that. As you can see, there are other options here. So you can have your course activity stream, which is essentially messages from teachers and to-do lists um, for students. Uh, course modules is a list of all of the modules and assignments. Um, this is probably one of the easiest routes to go with right here. Then you have assignment list, which is um, a list of assignments. Assignments list, I would say, is probably more geared towards organization of by assignment group, where course modules would be grouped in multiple ways. You can make modules um, with, you know, by week or by lesson. And so you could attach your course syllabus also so that when the students log in, that's what they see every single day. The last thing that I'm going to show you is how to create a module. So we've already created our workroom. We've chosen our home page. 
For right now, we're choosing modules. Now we're going to create a module. So I'm going to go up here to this plus button, and I am going to click Add Module. The next step to making a module is giving it a title or a name. I am going to do Module 1. For modules, one thing that you have to be aware of is they're kind of like an equivalent to a unit. They don't have to be. In the past, I have done it instead of Module 1. I will do Week 1. Right now, as an example, I'm just going to do Module 1 and you can add a lock so students can't access it until a given date here. That's an option, but I'm going to um, unclick that for now and add module. Now, you can drop your files here, so if you have any documents that you want, you can add them here. Um, when you're creating your module, you can click the plus button. You can add an assignment, a quiz, a file, a page, a discussion, text header, an external URL that's like a link or an external tool. I'll show you the tools real quick. This is based upon your district but this is the basic one that um, the free teacher account gives you. So you have attendance, the chat tool, this is within Canvas, your Google Drive, Khan Academy, Office 360, Quizlets, I skipped a couple, quizzes, uh, Wikipedia, and YouTube. So you have a lot of options when you are creating your, um, or filling in your module. This is when it gets really nice because a lot of the stuff that you've used in Google Classroom, you can actually just add into your module. Makes it really nice. Then this little icon is the publish button. When it's green, it's published. When it's got a line through it and it's gray, that means that it is unpublished. You have these three dots right here. When you click on them, you can edit your module. There's no items in our module yet, so we can't edit it. We can move content, we can move our module, we can delete our module, duplicate it, share it to Commons, which is um, the Canvas kind of like sharing online um, curriculum center. And then we can also make this a favorite in our commons. All right, so that's just kind of the three basic steps of Canvas. We created our first course or our um, rough draft course, which is our workroom. We established our home page. We chose our home page as a module this time. And then we created a module right here. Thanks for joining me and I hope that you will be able to see the next video.